welcome back. I'm in the kitchen. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of cooking today. I'm doing a collaboration video with Caroline, Mrs M and Geordie, Gro Geordie Grandma, Karen. Um, and we each chose a vegetable and we're doing three recipes with that vegetable. Now, I chose carrots. Ta -da. I did film two of these recipes last week and uh, with a varying success but I'm going to do my last recipe today I will show you the two that I've already done right I'm going to try, try and do a carrot mug cake recipe that I found on YouTube so to start with I need to get grating some carrot ready for my carrot cake probably enough. Right, got a mug. I've got my little measuring spoons. The first thing I need to put in is four tablespoons of flour. two tablespoons of sugar. Right, let me see how much is this. This is um, some vanilla sugar that my auntie sent me from Germany. Um, so it's got that slightly vanilla flavour. Because I haven't got any caster sugar in the cupboard. So I'm going to have to use granulated sugar. But I thought I'd see how much of this is, how much I can make up of it. Because I need two tablespoons. So there's one. Okay, so there's one and a bit in there. I just need a little bit more. Then I need an eighth. Do I have an eighth? It says baking soda. I've got baking powder. I'm hoping that's a similar thing. <laughs> I've never one for following recipes too strictly. There we go. That can go in there. And then a quarter of cinnamon. There we go, cinnamon. It also says nutmeg, which I don't have. So I'm not putting that again. Bit of salt. And um, one tablespoon of oil. Okay, so I've got this, it's like crisp and dry, but it's rapeseed oil, it's the same thing, isn't it? Right, one tablespoon. Um, two tablespoons of milk and two tablespoons of carrots. Okay, so let's do the carrot. Tablespoon, that's not a lot, is it? One. Right, two tablespoons of milk. It says at this point you can add chopped almond, uh, walnuts or raisins, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to give that a stir and then microwave it for one minute. That wasn't a great success, was it? Look, what have I done wrong? I mean, maybe my mug's too big. It looks quite cakey. To be fair, it looks quite cakey and quite edible. It just looks, it hasn't risen at all, should it rise? <sighs> hmm, questions. Right, let's pretend that it's done what it's supposed to do. And it says to make a topping. Now the topping is cream cheese, honey, and vanilla. So what have I got yogurt out for? Cream cheese, 
Let's get some cream cheese in a little bowl. One tablespoon. That'll do. It says vanilla, but I haven't got any vanilla. So I'm going to have to use some honey. Right, let's mix that together. I'm trying to remember when I used to make carrot cake what I put in the topping. I know it was cream cheese, but I can't remember what I mixed with it. Icing sugar, I think it was. Let's have a taste. Mmm, that's nice. Okay. What are we thinking? Is that an absolute disaster? What will that do? Well, presentation isn't going to get anything. That um, would have looked more in one piece, but I sort of cut it up as I tried to look if it was cooked. Let's put a bit of this on top and have a taste. Not going to get anything for presentation, but hey, if it's a quick dessert and it's tasty, it's going to be worth it, isn't it? Right. Is it going to be too hot? Taste test time. Um, I mean, it's edible. Mm. It's quite a nice dessert, to be honest. But um, it's very stodgy. I think it should have risen a little bit more. What did I do wrong? Okay, so that one was a little bit of a disaster. Let's try something else. This time I'm gonna try to make some carrot fritters. So the recipe says to use a bunch of ingredients and two eggs. What I've tried to do is half it. So if it's not a disaster, so if it's a disaster, I've not wasted too much. Problem is my scales aren't very accurate. So there's gonna be some wing in it involved. <laughs> Can you see how this is all gonna go horribly wrong? Okay, so I need, from half of it, halving it, I need 25 grams of plain flour, 25 grams of oats. So let's get that. My electric scales broke and I bought this simple, mechanical one but it's it's not very good would not recommend i don't want half it so 250 grams of grated carrots so i'll do that now all right that's that right put those in the bowl then i also need 150 grams of grated potatoes Bear with. I think that is about perfect. Right, get rid of that lovely bit. Tip that into there. A messy old job. Right, the potatoes going in with the carrot. Then I'm going to put the flour and the oats all into here as well. What a mess! I've got grated carrot all over the floor. Right, this is going in here. Seems weird. Let me put the other on. Start warming that up. The flour is going in here. What else? Carrots, cheddar cheese, oh. pepper, salt, I need some cheese in that space. 
I need 50 grams of cheese, right? There we go, 50 grams of cheese. That's going in. Salt and pepper to put in. It says to put in a nutmeg, I don't have nutmeg. It also says to put in Ras El Hanout spice, which I have no idea what that is. So I'm gonna wing it. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika in. Because I like paprika and everything, so. Right, I'm gonna give it a mix, and then I need to add eggs and mix it all together. But I'm gonna give it a dry mix first, just to start getting it all blended up. Okay, now I've got to add an egg. Oops, that was hard. In goes an egg. Let's mix it all together. Right, now, oops, no, that's not very well mixed in. Keep mixing. Don't give up yet. What I'm going to do now, prepare the baking sheet. Once I can scoop all this carroty mixture off my hands and then form it into shapes to put in the oven. Right. Got a baking baking tray. I've put some baking parchment on, and now I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil on there. And then spread it out so that it covers the whole sheet. And then I'm going to form these into little fritters. Seems like quite a lot, to be honest. Last one. Right, what do you think? Okay, so they've had their allotted time and they're going a bit golden brown around the edges. I wonder whether to flip them over and just give them a few more minutes on the other side. Hmm, I think I might try that. Right, I've flipped them all over and they're definitely still quite squishy. So I'm going to put them back in for a little bit longer. I gave them another five minutes or so turned over and they seem a bit crispier on the outside. So I'm going to take them off there and put them onto the rack. I'm gonna make like a yogurt-y sauce. I think it's called a pakora sauce. My husband makes it when he's making us a curry. So it's simply, it is, um, I'm only gonna make a small amount. So he said, a tablespoon of yogurt, a good squish of tomato sauce, about a teaspoon of mint sauce, half a teaspoon of sugar and a bit of salt, a squirt of lemon juice and a, and a little bit of this so i'm gonna have a go he normally makes it but i'm gonna have a go right there he is there's my sauce all mixed together i'm gonna try one of these i'm gonna try they're still a bit warm but they're nice i haven't got nails so i can't do that crispy thing let's try it try a little bit on its own mmm Oh, that's tasty. Mmm. Yum. I would say you don't need the sauce. They're nice on their own. And now it's time to film my third. So my third recipe is more of a side dish. It's something that I've always wanted to try. Um, not necessarily with carrots, but with anything. So a parmesan crusted vegetable. So I'm gonna do a parmesan crusted carrots. I've seen these done with like Brussels sprouts and all sorts of things, but I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see how it turns out. I found this recipe on YouTube. And when I went back to find it, to watch it again, to clarify what I needed to do, I could no longer find it. So what I'm doing is, 
roughly following a recipe, making it up as I go along. I've got an oven proof dish ready and I've put the oven on to heat up. And then I've cut the carrots, so basically into little sort of batons, fairly chunky, like this. And then the idea is that we start coating these. What I'm gonna put in first is some olive oil. So I'm gonna give it a good glug of olive oil so that that will coat it and hopefully make all the toppings stick to it. Now, I'm gonna put in some, a little bit of chili powder because that was in the original recipe. I don't have measurements or anything, so let's just wing it as usual. So a little bit of chili powder. I'm also gonna put in some paprika. That was in the original recipe, not just one of my favorites because I do add it to nearly everything I cook. There we go, some paprika. It also said ground cumin. Let's put a bit of this in, not too much. I think that's probably enough. And then some salt. Doesn't come out very fast for this one. There we go. Give it a shake. I want to make sure that all the paprika and the cumin and everything is evenly distributed. Now I also said to put in um, garlic powder, but I haven't got garlic powder, so I think I'm going to put in some fresh garlic. So I will get that ready now. I've peeled a couple of garlic cloves and pop them in one of these crusher things and add that to my carrot mix. That's quite a lot of garlic, if I'm honest, but seeing as I'm not working in the shop at the moment, I can enjoy things like garlic, which I would have been more careful with in the past. <laughs> right, give it a good stir. Oh, that smells so good already. I wish you could smell that. Now, I need to grate some parmesan into this dish. Seeing as I can't find the original recipe, I'm just having to guess how much. I'm gonna give that a stir and see if everything looks coated. Not bad, looks quite well coated. And the recipe that I saw said to also grate some into the bottom of your oven proof dish so that they're sitting on a layer of parmesan. So I'm going to do that now. There we go. So I've put a layer of parmesan on the bottom, and then with my hands. I'm going to gently place the carrots like that, fairly close together, it said, so that they sort of form a crust. So I'll carry on doing this and uh, show you again when I'm done. There we go. I've put those all on there and I've just tipped out the little remnants of parmesan -y stuff and put it on top. I put that in the oven. And because I can't find the recipe, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I'm going to check in about 15 minutes time. So this is after about 20 minutes. I think that I'm going to put them back in for another 10 minutes or so. Well, here they are. They've been in about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. I mean, they look bubbly and I'm sure they taste amazing, but it's not crisp like I thought it would be. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick this one out of the corner. That looks more crisp like. Time for the taste test. So I chose one of the bits of brown around the edges. Mmm. Well, that's nice. It's got quite a kick because of the chilli and the cumin, but mmm, really, really nice. It's not been a uh, 
cooking revelation this video has it it's been a bit of a cooking disaster but i hope you've enjoyed it anyway let me know if you've got any solutions to the whole cake mug cake thing i might try it again at some point and make sure you go and watch Car caroline and uh, karen's videos i'll link them below take care stay safe and i'll see you soon Thank you.